Hey guys, um, so welcome to the next tutorial. Um, it is about drawing the ear. Um, this lesson I think is one of the harder ones because the ear sometimes it's not an easy object to draw. So like I said, the only way to draw the ear is to break it up into shapes. So you have that outer shape, then you have that inner shape, and then you have where the highlights would be. So let's just go ahead and, um, to the ear. So start with that outside, the outer part of the ear. And then it's really just a circular motion. Break the ear once again, just like the eye, break the ear up into shapes. It's the only way to learn how to draw and learn how to draw well. So I'm looking at the ear and just break it up into shapes. So then you have the top part of the ear. And then I'm looking at that shape that's inside the ear. Sometimes when you just try to draw the negatives um, places in the ear instead of the positive, um, you'll end up actually drawing the actual object in the end, which is kind of cool. So you go ahead, put this in, go ahead and shade it. The ear comes out, then it kind of goes back in, and then it kind of just, you want to do the earlobe. So you're going to bring it down a little bit, but not too far down. And this is all going to be shaded here. Another way to do it too is go ahead and just do a middle tone after you do the shading on the inside and those are darker you do the middle tone that's on the outside here and just kind of shade it lightly and remember it's a shape of an ear and then it goes in Okay, now, right now it looks like it's just one big kind of blob of values, but what you're gonna do is kind of smooth it out with your finger. Pull out your highlights, and that's what's actually gonna create the ear in the end. So you go ahead in, and just pull your highlights out. This is probably one of the harder things to draw because it's such an odd shape. So that's why you want to kind of look at the inside of the ear and do that shape because that is a definite shape, that inside of the ear. And that will, de that will help you decide what the outer shape should look like. Now, earlobes are all different sizes. Some people have bigger earlobes than others. Um, some people's ears, they go out a little bit. Um, so you would have to look at the ear that you're drawing and just really um, try to depict the same ear as you're looking at. Um, really look at the shape of it because we do have different size ears. So like I said, you have to picture the head right about here. And then that's on the side. So ears are kind of an odd thing to draw, um, but they are at the top. It's a double line for the ear. So we come down kind of slightly. It 
If you notice during this tutorial, I am going to have basically a smaller image. You'll see it popping up um, of me drawing an ear um, really close up. Um, and that should be running all through this tutorial of how to draw the ear. Um, and then you would have your hair around the ear as well. So um, if you have to bring up the earlobe a little bit, then go ahead and do that. Because um, maybe you brought it down a little bit too far, which is okay. So you just go in, erase some of it, and bring it up just a hair. And maybe you have to bring up the top part of the ear too. Maybe you have to bring them down a little bit. Some people have smaller ears, and then some people have bigger ears. So really observe the ear that you're looking at. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this. Um, there'll be a few worksheets that kind of show you the shape of the ear, so you can kind of get an idea of the outer shape that I'm following in this video and what that looks like. Um, because once you understand the outer part of this ear, it's very easy to fill in the values within the inside of this ear. Um, do join me for the next tutorial, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you.